Welcome to Dre's Tiles 2014. I'm rocking in the house. I'm your man, Mr. Dre. What you heard right there was DJ Polarity putting up those hits. We're doing what we got to do, rocking how we want to rock out and stuff. And as you see, as I got right next to me, I have the legend itself, Raheem, Mr. Williams, in the house. So how you doing today? There's your mic right there and stuff. I'm, I'm great, my brother. I'm great. Thank you for uh, having me on your show. Yeah, thank you for taking the time out for being with us today. So, you know, definitely, you know, everybody was giving me much love, you being here today. So, you know, we got a lot to talk about. You know, we definitely got to talk about hip-hop. We definitely got to talk about where hip-hop is going, how you started, and where hip-hop should be going. So we're definitely going to go through that today and stuff like that. You know, some other stuff, whatever I think about as I'm going. That's what I do, you know. So I'm glad to have you out here. And uh, like I said earlier, I want to say happy birthday to my niece, Rain. You know, definitely got to say birthday to her because I don't want her on my back later on. And uh, I want to say real quick, DJ Polarity, thanks for coming here today in the rain. Uh, one, 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 one moment, I messed that up. Say that again, homeboy. I was saying thank you for having me once again. Thanks for, like, coming out in this rain and stuff. And um, let everybody know where you be DJing at. Well, tomorrow and every other Tuesday night, you can catch me on ones and twos at Madam X. Live for the basics alongside the DJ Lovely, 94 West Houston Street from 6 to 11. So all my 9 to 5 is come on through. It's free 99 for you and yours. Nice. This Thursday night, you can catch me at Moe's Bar in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, 80 Lafayette Avenue. You can take the, eight, the C train, pardon me, or the G train, get out to the area. Free 99 as well. Get your NBA Finals on and all that. So come on through. All right, cool. You, you just stay busy and stuff. That's what I like about it. You know, you definitely stay busy there. And uh, the mic is up perfect right now, so we good to go. Uh, let me see, and Raheem, I, or should I call you Raheem or can I call you Mr. Williams or what do you prefer? Whichever, whichever Homeboy? you prefer. Homeboy? <laughs> okay, brother, so. you just need to put the mic closer to you because people are going to start chatting in and, I'll, you know, they're going to be riding me in a minute. You know, and everybody, you got anybody got anything to say? We, You know, we have the phone lines. You can call in 212-967-1307 or you can check us out in the chat room. Um, my man Raheem, he's over here. He's monitoring it himself. If you just scroll up a little bit, you'll see the chat room. So he's in here doing his thing. See, a guest that brought his own laptop to do what he had to do. So that's what I'm talking about. That's what legends know how to do. So y'all, anybody else come to guest on my show, y'all remember that. I'm going to rock out like that. So we're going to jump right into it real quick. First, let everybody know where you're from. I'm from uh, the Boogie Down Bronx, 179 Boston Road, Lambert Houses. 1075 Blue Building 4, 4L. <laughs> okay. Ap apartment 4L. Apartment 4L. Yeah, 4 life. Okay, he went right straight to it. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, definitely that's what's up and everything. So, have you always been wanting to like be a rapper or was you just seeing people out in the street just doing it and everything? Uh, Well, when I started, uh, I guess what influenced me uh were two, two uh, I guess, influencing factors. Um, a friend of mine that went to uh, Harry S. Truman High School by the name of Joe Goodwin, he used to uh, walk the halls and say these rhymes. And he had like all the chicks in the school following him like everywhere he went. And I was like, damn, I want all the chicks in the school following me everywhere I go. Right. So I said, I got to write me some rhymes. So I started writing these rhymes, and uh, I kind of, I guess, challenged Joe to a little uh, friendly battle, no, no gunplay involved. And um, I guess I won, and I had all the chicks in the school following me around. All right, that's how you do it. Now, was hip hop like going really strong when, um, when you started? Well, when I started, <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't yet dubbed as hip hop. <laughs> They didn't want to date was, you on that was, one. It was, it was just, um, you know, it was just a movement, a growing movement, and, and there was no real label to it. I mean, uh, at first they called it, you know, uh, boyoying, you know, music, uh, because in, that was indicative of what the B-Boys did when, you know, whenever the break parts would come or the get down part would come. And um, so then as a result of that, uh, the, the word hip hop, basically that, 
that came from the media. Um, that had come up with something? Um, the word, the term hip hop was, was uh, actually, at first, it was a condescending term uh, used by practitioners of disco music, you know, disco DJs. They would, they would disrespect hip hop practitioners and say, you know, get out of here with that hippity hoppity stuff. Or, <laughs> you know, uh, they call us floor sweepers because we, you know, when we break dance, we go down to the floor or whatever. And, you know, so they, the word hip hop initially was a condescending term. And um, and so, I guess at some point, the media, uh, like they do everything else, you know, they have the uh, they completely utilize the power of nomenclature, and uh, and label everything, right, and everyone. All right. So, like, the one thing that that sticks out for me about um, hip hop. And you know, I just think it's very strong. Is uh, the movie um, not B Street? What's the other one? Um, how many y'all played it? Wild, Wild Style. Wild Style. Man, it was in my head before I said it. But uh, Wild Style was like very major to me because I just saw like stuff that I wasn't able to see back then because I grew up in North Carolina. So that to actually see it actually happening back then, I thought it was very major. So like. Was it really like that for y'all, like, you know, like doing the little parties, like stringing some, you know, somebody else's electricity to, from the light pole to somebody's apartment and everything? MCs is just going at each other? Well, well no, I'm sorry, where are you from? North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina, okay. Yes, absolutely, it was like that. Um, if, you, if you look out the uh, window of this building at any of the uh, street lamps on the street, you'll see um, a rectangular shaped door at the base of all of the street lamps, and if you, um, when when New York's finest isn't looking, <laughs> of course, uh, if you pry that door open, there's a massive conglomeration of wires, and if you pull that conglomeration of wires out, uh, there's a few wires that you can expose if you take the uh, the black electrical tape off of it, because most most of it is wrapped up in black electrical tape. And you take the black electric tape off and it exposes a series of wires and you find the right two and you can use any electrical appliance on the street corner of New York City. Mm -hmm. Compliments of Con Edison. Con Con <laughs> I think they're on top of that now though, but you know, it is what it is and stuff. But I, I just saw it was like MCs back then, it wasn't about Oh, I'm going to beat you down this or whatever and stuff. It seemed like every MC and every crew was still friends. You know, it was just more like... I, I wouldn't necessarily say that the MCs and all crews were friends. I mean, some of them were. Um, uh, but I would say it was more of a, of a respect, like... Because it was a really small community of people who were prolific at it and who could command large audiences right and so if you were not able to command a large audience then you know um, and and you know your name wasn't ringing alarms in the street you know as an MC or a DJ uh, at that time uh, circa Grandmaster Flash uh, and the and the three MCs or Grandmaster 